Yo, it's me, Joe, over here at Maui Game Studio. Welcome to my new video. I'm making another one. How cool is that, right? Oh my gosh. So basically on this channel, I just wanted to let you know that we're kind of changing directions or more so just re-solidifying our existing direction. There's really three things that I'm going to do on this channel. One will be devlogs and my game content. The other will be art showcasing, showing my game content. And the third will be tutorials. Tutorials have been really the bread and butter for my views on this channel, but at the same time, they take a lot more work to do that is kind of in opposition to the creation of my game. So if you have a really specific tutorial about something you've seen me do and you want me to show you how to do that, make sure to let me know in the comments because I don't really love tutorials enough to just kind of do random things all the time. I really want to know what you guys want to see and what you need to know. Another update on tutorials, I recently had three of my videos reach 2K views. Now, that is amazing for me. I actually have about 100K views on the channel total, and I only have 250-ish subs right now at the time of recording this video, which is actually not much at all. So if you haven't yet, make sure you go and subscribe as soon as you can. Okay, so now that I've talked about my channel, let's talk about the devlog. That's what we're doing here today. We're doing a devlog. So first things first, the most significant thing I've done since the last update, which was in late May, holy guacamole, the main thing I've been working on for the last three to four months is my walk cycles for my character sprites. I've done eight new characters with new walk cycles. So before they had a idle and a run cycle. Now in addition to that, they have a walk cycle. Now for me, walk cycles are a little crazy. Some of them are six to 12 frames. So it's a lot of work and I have to do that for four directions, up, left, down, and right. So you can imagine that this was a tremendous undertaking that took me months. Now if you play the game, it's kind of a nuanced thing. You don't really notice it right away and it's not the thing that jumps out at you, but it really does make the game seem a lot more full. Previously there would be like really dramatic cutscenes in the game and the players would be running and it wouldn't really make sense. So a lot of times when I was going for a certain emotional beat, I really felt that having a walking sprite would really help that. So that's all I'm gonna say about walking sprites. If you have questions about how I did them, make sure you let me know in the comments. I'm always trying to make new tutorials and I don't know what to do. So let me know in the comments what you want me to do. And there's a good chance if I get a lot of comments about a certain subject, I'll make it. Okay, back to the devlog, moving on. Another thing that I'm really sorry to say I did is I removed auto saves. Now auto saves are really great. I kind of got the idea to do them when I played some of the Final Fantasy remakes. But the problem is, is it's not really set up correctly in my game. The game is very unoptimized when I use those auto save functionalities. And I don't really know how to make it work right this minute. While this is something I eventually want to figure out, more specifically, I want to do cloud saves in, in the long future. That's kind of the goal is to make it so you can log in and save your game online. And I will do that. But right now, I don't really feel strongly about the auto saves. So I removed them because they messed up a lot of the cutscenes. They messed up a lot, a lot of the map transitions. And if you progress further into the end game, uh, you really get an unsatisfactory experience with those autosaves, so I took them out. That's kind of what I had to do. Okay, some other minor updates that I added is I added uh, a bunch of new parallax maps. I might show some of these in this video, I might not, but I encourage you to go ahead and explore uh, the island of Calbi and see if you can find some of these new parallax maps that I added since the last patch. I've really changed and kind of refined the style that I want the game to look like. And as we go further along, I get more close to my real true vision of what I have for this game to be. And the parallax maps are a big part of that. If you don't know what parallax maps are, it's just really a layering technique used in RPG Maker. The word in RPG Maker is different than other contexts. But in RPG Maker, parallaxing just means adding maps on top of on layers and layers using image files as opposed to the traditional way, which would be using tiles. Okay, there's one more cool effect that I added. I used the, the pixie filter within RPG Maker, and what that does is it kind of can blur things and, and like unfocus things, pixelate things, give you chromatic aberration, things like that. So the blur feature was really great for poison. If you know RPG Maker, the default like poison or floor damage effect is just kind of a flash. 
which honestly, I don't really know any way to say it, but it's pretty lame. It looks stupid. It is bad for people with uh, epilepsy or other visual disabilities, people who can't stand bright lights. It's just bad all the way around. So this pixelation feature, which is actually the standard in older versions of RPG Maker, is kind of something I went back to and I kind of spruced it up a bit, added a little bit of a flare. So I'm really proud of that and I think it looks really, really good. So I'm excited to show you that. I'm excited for you to find out where you can even find floor damage in my game because it's actually really rare. So that's really cool. I think that's about it. I think I covered everything. I'm kind of too close to the camera, aren't I? <laughs> Sorry if I'm freaking you out. I'm a little bit high energy. I'm really excited about this patch. Can't you tell? It's been so long. It's been so long. Well, anyway, thank you for coming by to the channel. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment if you have any questions I haven't covered in the video. Make sure to follow my other socials. My Instagram's almost at 1,500 followers. That'll be a huge landmark for me if I can hit it. Oh yeah, I also uh, started posting VODs again for my Twitch streams. So if you have a Maui Game Studio fever and you need more, make sure to go check out that channel. I'll leave a link somewhere, in, either in the description or however you do it in the YouTubes. And in addition to that, I, I just wanna say thank you for watching the video. And I'm gonna get out of here. Hopefully I can edit this now and push it out right the second or tonight so I'll see you later love you aloha from the islands okay brother <laughs>